guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a try on, kind of like a first impressions makeup tutorial. Hold on, I'm thirsty. video is going to be like a first impressions makeup tutorial and I promised you guys in my last makeup tutorial that my next makeup tutorial is going to be a drugstore one so I have lots of new makeup to try out lots of PR from different brands that I want to try out plus things that I have purchased so I want to make a video and create a makeup look I'm so excited. It's been a while since I've filmed. I should actually get started while I say all of this. It's been a while since I have filmed. I was away for like a one week, two week kind of break because it was my 26th birthday. Yes, I'm 26 years old. But aging is a very lucky thing. So, so I'm blessed to be able to age. But yeah, every few months I like to take a little bit of a break because this can get a little bit overwhelming. Even though I love makeup and I love YouTube so much, when you're producing your own content, you're creating your content, you are editing your content, you're only one person doing everything, you're promoting it, so it gets a little stressful sometimes. So I like to just take a little bit of a break and focus on myself and come back stronger and happier. By the way, when you have two dogs at home, there is so much fuzz everywhere. I mean, there's fuzz in my food, there's fuzz in my clothes. It's just, there's no escaping the fuzz. Okay, so let's prime while I blabber. I have two different primers to try out. This is the Revlon Colorstay UV Primer with SPF 40, PA++. Great for the summertime, I'm sure. And this is the Wet n Wild Primer. I don't know which one I want to try out. I think I want to try out the Wet n Wild one because I'm a little bit scared of flashback. I don't want to have a flashback because I'm going to be taking pictures after I'm done with this makeup and I want it to look nice in flash photography. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. So I'm going to take a pea-sized amount. So as I was saying, I took a little bit of a break and I went to Missouri to celebrate my birthday. So for foundation, I actually have two choices. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation and then I also have the Pack HD Foundation. Now, I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'm so confused. I think both the foundations are going to be really nice because I've heard really nice reviews on both of them. So I think I'm going to try the Pack one because I heard Shreya saying in one of her videos that if she actually had to choose a foundation for her wedding day, this is what she would choose. And I thought that was pretty big. So I really want to try it out. I have the shades 1.7 and 1.9 so I'm just going to mix both of them together because both of them look like they're going to match me. So I'm just going to mix both of them together. Oh, but first I'm going to use a little bit of corrector. So I'm taking my Nykaa um, corrector palette and I'm going to pick up the orangey shade. So as I was saying, I went to Missouri to celebrate my birthday and there were eight of us and the more the merrier. It was so nice. All of us have been friends since school. So all of us are like chuddy buddies. So it was so nice to just take the time out with my friends and just celebrate. So it was just so nice to relax and chill. Just be with friends and enjoy and have absolutely no work because I make it a point that whenever I'm going on vacation, I don't take any work with me. I just like to chill and leave all the work behind and it gets really kind of tedious to come back and finish all the work at once. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen my outfits and my Insta stories and all of that. But yeah, the weather was so good. Oh my god, there were clouds literally coming into my hotel room. It was perfect. It was raining. It was just so nice. And then I come back to Delhi and I'm like, where are the rains? We only have humidity here. It's not raining. I wonder why. Too much global warming, that's why. Okay, so this is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and learned how to look like a leopard. Yeah, so it does feel really, really good to be back. I'm filming after what feels like, I don't know, two weeks and I missed makeup so much and I was like, yes, I need to film. It's actually 2 a.m. right now and I thought, should I go to bed or should I film? But then I was like, no, I want to film because I miss makeup. I miss sitting in front of the camera and just chit-chatting with you guys and I miss just beating and caking my face. By the way, if you didn't notice, I do have a little bit of a breakout situation on my chin so you can meet Ron and there's also Bob and John's over here as well. It always happens whenever I go on a vacation because of the change in weather, 
the water, the food, my skin always freaks out. My skin is super sensitive. I love how yellow this foundation is because I'm pretty yellow toned and whenever I use a pinky beige kind of foundation there's such a noticeable difference in my chin and my I mean in my makeup and my foundation what am i even saying because when my foundations are like pinky beige you can really see the difference because i am very yellow toned okay so this foundation is like magic i can totally see what she was saying it looks really really natural i cannot see it on my skin plus it has covered so well like you cannot see all of my little friends over here they're all gone and this also happens because of pms super impressed with this foundation it looks really skin like and it's covered so well i feel like i can use 1.7 when i'm a little bit fairer and 1.9 when i'm a little bit more tan and both the shades have made like a match made in heaven for me so i love that now moving on to concealer i have new concealers to try out which is always so exciting i have the makeup revolution conceal and define i've heard so many good things about this concealer so i'm super excited to try this out so i have the shades c10 and c5 and c5 looks like it's going to match no c10 looks like it's going to match me a little better so i'm going to conceal with c10 So C10 looks like a really nice color for me. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It looks like the perfect color for my skin tone. And by the way, I'm also using the new pack sponge. I love the pack sponges so much. You definitely don't need to invest in a high-end sponge because the pack ones are just so good. Do we see that coverage? Oh my god, are we seeing this coverage? Where have you been all my life? Oh my god, I absolutely love it when I'm trying out products for the first time and they turn out to be more than fantastic. This foundation and this concealer, both of them are looking the bomb and I'm so glad I have the shade C5 which is a little bit lighter. I'm just going to use it to brighten up. So I'm only going to take a touch of this shade like right here. Yeah, that's it. A little bit on the forehead. over here just a little bit on the chin keep it bow yeah that's it just to brighten up okay that is looking beyond fabulous i love all of the products that i've used up until now oh my god my skin looks super flawless and now we need to powder so i have the new pack powders i've chosen two shades um this is tl02 and this is tl09 So I think I'm going to use TL02 to bake under my eyes but first you always want to get rid of the little creases. I also just like to contour my nose along with the powder. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I also just want to see what this shade looks like. I feel like it's going to be a little too dark, is it? No. So I think I'm going to use the shade TL09. Yes, TL09 to set the rest of my face. I'm using the pack 335 brush. Just take a little bit of that and set the rest of my face with that. And I'm also just going to dust off the bake. Okay, so these powders are really really nice. Super finely milled. They haven't left any cakiness. My skin still does not look cakey even after having those layers of corrector and foundation and concealer and powder. It still looks like skin. I'm so happy with this base. I love it when I try out products and they turn out great as I said. So I'm just going to do my brows and come back because nothing ever changes with my brows. I'm very particular about brows. I don't really change them and I know I'm due to do a brow routine which I will do for you guys. But I'm just going to do my brows and come back. Okay, so I'm back with eyebrows on and I have this new eyeshadow palette to try out. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified 35 palette. Looks like this. So many colors in this palette. I think one of you left a comment under my video saying that I need to get out of reds and peaches and orangey looks and I was like Okay, let's pick up a really really colorful palette with all of these blues and let's see what I can do because honestly neutrals are like my comfort zone. I love neutrals and I know a lot of you actually wear neutrals. I don't know how many of you would actually wear blue eyeshadow unless there's an event or something. But still I wanted to create something colorful because your wish is my command. So let's start. I'm going to try to use affordable brushes as 
well i'm taking the pack 028 and i'm gonna pick up this shade right here and that is going to act like my base Okay, somehow I just want to use a yellow shade. I don't know, yellow has replaced orange for me. I want to use yellow as my transition color every day. So I'm going to take my NYX Fire Palette and I'm going to take this lovely yellow shade and just put that in my crease. Wow, I love the yellow. I've been loving yellow with everything. Yellow shoes, yellow clothes. I don't know, I've been buying a lot of yellow clothes lately. There's a little bit of shimmer in that peachy base color. Let's do this eye first. By the way, this brush is also from Pack. This is from their eye care series. You get a brush set of, I think, seven brushes. It's a really nice brush kit and this brush is from that set. I'm gonna take it quite high up because I want you to be able to see the yellow once I'm done with all the blending. And if you get any fallout, just dust it away. Now I'm gonna take this orangey brown over here and put it just a little under where the yellow is. It's still in the crease. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. But honestly, I don't really mind fallout. I feel like every pigmented eyeshadow has fallout and it's okay. This is a little bit much, but you can just dust it away as you saw and it goes away quite easily. I feel like I want a matte orange and there isn't a matte orange here. So I'm gonna go back to my fire palette and take this shade. Oh my god, this palette is so much better. I would highly recommend you check out this palette. It is so pretty and I was actually the face of this palette when it launched in India. So I have some special memories with this palette as well and I really, really, truly love it because the colors in the fire palette just resonate with me so much. You see this fallout with this as well, but not as much. Okay, let's blend a little. Just clean the brush a little. Go back to the yellow because we lost the yellow a little bit and I want you to be able to see the yellow. Now, I could either make it super smoky or just add some blue, make it super colorful. Let's make it a little more smoky. I'm gonna take this really dark blue over here and just apply that in the outer corner. I dusted most of it away so don't worry if it doesn't look pigmented because I go crazy dusting the brush away because I never want anything to look messy. Do you see that? I mean this is not a bad palette by any means but it's not as smooth as I would like. It's a little choppy. Do you see? It's not blending. I'm just gonna have to layer a bunch of times to see if I can make it look more even. I mean, yeah, we're definitely getting there. I'm gonna go back to the orange to help blend the edges. Okay, it's not so bad. We can make it work. Don't fret. Okay, now I'm gonna use this color over here. This is a shimmery kind of greeny color and I'm gonna pick it up on my finger hmm you can definitely make it work but you have to kind of layer a lot it's a lot of work and it's a little difficult to blend it's nothing crazy but I'm so used to shadows being extremely smooth and easy to apply that this just seems like a lot of work. I'm just not feeling it you guys and when I create a tutorial for you, I want it to be as good as I can make it so I'm gonna change eyeshadows. I'm so sorry. This is the pack Pure Pigmented Eyeshadow in the shade 37 and this is in the shade 56. So I'm just gonna mix both of these together and hopefully it'll create a color similar to what's on my lid right now. I'm just gonna take the green and apply it in the inner portion of my eyes. Oh my God, that is so much better. Now I'm gonna take the blue. I'm trying to save this look as much as I can while still keeping it fun. I 
think I chose the wrong palette for a colorful tutorial. Okay, for the outer corner, I'm gonna take the Inglot eyeshadow in the shade 389. I know this is supposed to be a first impressions, but I just can't, you know, I can't deal with a badly blended eye. No. Ah, <sighs> blend it like butter, honey. Wow, it turned out to be a lot more colorful than I imagined. I'm gonna take my Sigma E36 and go back to the yellow just to make the yellow pop a little bit more. Bye Fallout! That looks alright. I'm kind of okay with that. So for Lina, we are gonna be doing a green moment. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Pencil in the shade Silken Turquoise. I shouldn't call this video a first impressions anymore. I think I should call this video a testing new drugstore makeup or something because not all of these products are new to me. And for liner, I'm gonna take the Hyper Glitz Ink Liner in this greeny kind of colour. It's so annoying that the colour of the actual name of the colour was on the packaging. But that was plastic so of course I tore it off. But I'm gonna list it down below if you're interested. So I'm just gonna draw my wing now. Look at that eyeliner. Oh my god, tell me that is not fabulous. I love this glittery eyeliner. Okay, now for mascara, I finally have the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. So many of us have heard so many things about this mascara. But unfortunately, I ended up purchasing the waterproof version, which waterproof mascara is the devil. I will only wear waterproof mascara when I actually have to go in the water, which is very rare. <laughs> so, but I still want to try it out, of course. And yeah, this is the moment of truth. Okay, so this mascara is nice. It is actually amazing i don't know how much of my lashes you can see with all this eyeshadow work but if i was to wear this mascara on its own without any of this my lashes would look incredibly long and thick as much as i can tell from the first use i think this is a really nice mascara now for falsies of course i'm gonna be using the million dollar lady lashes these are in the style abundance i just want to go all out and use some crazy lashes so yeah, this is what I'm going to be using today. Okay, now for the lower lash line, we want to replicate what we did at the top. So I'm going to go back to my orangey shade and I'm going to apply it all over the lower lash line. It's actually 4am so you can hear the birds chirping in the background. And I'm going to drag it a little bit below just to hide any of my fine lines and also to make it look super smoky. And taking another brush from the pack Eye Care series, I'm gonna put that matte dark blue color in the outer corner right there. Now I wanna take the PP37 eyeshadow, the blue one, and put it in the center. So we are literally replicating what we created above. I'm now taking PP56. Okay, now you just want to apply mascara on your lower lashes. And of course, I'm going to go out of frame for that. Once your lower mascara is done and dry, you want to go back to your Maybelline eyeliner and just line your waterline with that. Okay, coming back to the face. I'm going to take the Palladio Matte Bronzer. I have used this before, but I feel like I haven't used this enough. And I don't think I've ever used it on camera before. So it's buttery soft and super pigmented. I already know that. So I have to dust off my brush really well. And I'm just going to contour my cheeks. It's quite a warm tone bronzer. Okay, now I want to try out the pack baking powder set. I love the packaging, it reminds me of Inglot. So I'm going to mix the yellow shade and the white shade 
And I'm using my Morphe M501 for that. Ooh, super powdery. That's nice. It means it will be blendable. Oh, it's quite pigmented. Oh my god, look at that. That instantly brightened things up. You can totally see a difference. Oh wow, that's some serious brightening. Of course, we have to even things out on the rest of the face. Oh wow, that gave so much more dimension to my face. This is definitely something I'm going to be reaching out for again and again. Because I always like to brighten up my under eye area and my forehead and my chin. And I always use my Kat Von D powder but this just feels a little more blendable than that. And a little more pigmented. I love that. I cannot get over the amazing brightening effect. Okay, now that my bronzer is done, I'm going to set my eyebrows. So I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Mascara in the shade Chocolate. I feel like this just gives my eyebrows so much dimension. It sets them in place, but you can also actually see the hair once I put gel in. Okay, now for lips, I know I want to use one of these. This is the Pink Nude Retro Matte Mini Set from PAC. And this is the Nude Retro Matte Mini Set. So I know I want to use either one i definitely should go nude because the eyes are so bold so let's go with the nude set um this this is too beigey this might be okay too pink this might be nice yeah this is the pink nude in 03 look at how cute that is oh my god i'm just gonna line my lips with pack beauty queen look at how much i have left i love this lip liner That by itself always looks so beautiful. And now I'm going to take the Pink Nude Retro Matte Mini in the shade 03. Yes, I love the colour. Oh my god, this lip combo is everything right now. All of the colours in the nude and the pink nude ones are so nice. They also have a purple, a pink and I think a brown set. All of the colours are so lovely. But of course, I gravitated towards the pink and the pink nude. And with this dramatic eye look, of course, a nude lip would look so much nicer. But if you're feeling extra crazy, you could definitely pick up any colour from the crease, like an orangey colour and play with a little bit more of an orange. And pink always looks nice with blue eyeshadows. So don't be afraid to experiment. It's just makeup. It washes off. But I'm so happy with how this lip is looking. Let's move on to blush now. So this is new to me. I haven't used this. I've had this for about a few months, but I've never ever tried this on my face. This is by the brand Mina. That is what it spells like, but you pronounce it Mina. And it just looks really nice. This is called the Floro Palette. It comes with a really nice big mirror and you get all of these colors here. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take my brush and swirl it around in this entire thing and hope for the best. I couldn't see in the pan because it looks pretty matte in the pan. But on the cheeks, there's this little bit of a sheen, like an iridescent kind of sheen. People like to make a fishy face when they're contouring. I like to make a fishy face when I'm applying blush because I like my blush to go up and high and kind of lift up my cheeks. I don't know if it's the blush or the powder or what, but the application is just a little choppy. I've never had that with blush before. I'm trying to fix it. It's not bad. The colour is quite pretty, but... It's not perfect. I feel like I should have gone with a peachier, orangier blush because of the eyes being so colourful and orange in the crease. The blush is kind of too pink for this look. Okay, so I'm all glammed up now. The only thing that's left to do is to highlight. And I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow... Me I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. 
palette. This is a powder in the shade Precious Petals and I've had this for one or two weeks and I've been so excited to try it out. I've heard so many good things about this. So let's glow! Oh my god, this is... I don't know why I'm packing even more on because clearly that is blind enough. Okay, hello glow! fix all of this in place, I'm gonna use my pack micro finish makeup fixer. I absolutely love this so I'm just gonna fix my face with this. So this is it for the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope you were satisfied with this colorful makeup because according to me if you have problems wearing color always remember to put kind of like an orangey or a neutral color in your crease because that makes wearing color just so much easier. And now for the giveaway, one of you can win this entire PR kit from Color Bar. It does contain products from their new Color Circus collection. So inside you have all of these amazing products. There are two eyeshadow pigments. One of them is a burgundy color. The other one is a loose gold glitter which is so pretty. There are two amazing lipsticks and then there are these two stunning nail paints. Can we just talk about this stunning color and it's dressed up as well. So there are six products in this color bar kit. Two eyeshadows, two lipsticks and two nail polishes. And one of you will win this entire PR kit. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. I am going to announce the winners on Instagram. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram. You like this video, leave a comment down below. I'm going to mention everything in the description box. So make sure you check that out. I hope you're subscribed to my channel already. If you're not, please take a moment to hit the little red subscribe button down there. Leave your comments telling me what other eyeshadow looks you want to see from me what other colors you want to see me use. All the giveaway rules are going to be in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you super soon in my next one. Bye bye!